So today you will need your math spiral and a pencil. We're gonna start right away with our learning target. Let's get back. Today we're gonna participate in the review and yes, we have a quiz. We're gonna take quiz 3.2, which is on our time skills that we have been working on for the past couple weeks. And the reason we do this is this helps Mrs. Harrison and I know what we still need to work on and you as well. And we'll expect that you participate in the review. So that's what you need your math spiral for and your pencil. You're gonna to wanna to read the problems carefully like we've been doing. Use a clock or number line to find the answers. Reflect, does your answer make sense? Okay, so we're gonna start with our review. Let's go ahead and, whoopsie, whoa. Write the problem down. We'll go ahead and start with the four multiplication problems. We have four times six, nine times eight, nine times seven, and seven times eight. I tried to change it up a little bit. Think about your strategies that you're using when you do the web math minute. Think about all the things we learned in our past units in our last trimester. You can count by fours, count by sixes, use what you know, use the five shortcut, use the nines trick. I'm curious to see what you'd come up with. All right. Max Deesberg, four times six. What do you think? 24. How do you know? Because I know five times six is 30, and I subtracted six from it, and I got 24. So that's a great example of using what you already know to find the unknown. So if you don't know what four times six is, and you can figure out what five times six is, you can just count back one six. Excellent. All right, nine times eight. Let's think of that nines trick. And I'm gonna kind of sit backwards. Remember, if you're doing the nines trick, you're gonna put your eighth finger down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you're gonna see fingers to the left of the finger down, which are your tens digits, and the fingers to the right are your ones. That's a great way to solve that problem. Gavin, what do you think nine times eight equals? Seventy-two. And how did you figure it out? Because I know uh it, um if it if it was um eighty um one then nine uh times nine would equal um then nine times nine would equal um ninety but then since it's nine times eight, then it would be uh, 72. Then you'd have to subtract, right? Yeah. And that would equal 72. So a lot of you guys are modeling the strategy of use what you know and count up or count back from that. That makes me happy. All right. Anybody want to explain nine times seven? How would we figure out nine times seven? Haley Booker. Um, so what you can do is two ways how to figure this out. So the first way is, um, you can start with nine times five. Um, that, that equals 45. And then you can add two more nines, um, which and that equals 63 and wow. then 
you can just put down your seventh finger for the nines trick and then you'd still get 63. Very well done. Thank you for explaining your thinking so thoroughly. I love it. All right, seven times eight. Seven times eight. This one's a tricky one. Robert, what are you thinking? Seven times eight equals 54. Because seven times nine, if that equals 63, 63 minus seven equals 54. Well, let's try 63 minus seven again. Here, we could stack it, 63 minus seven. Can I do three minus seven? I'd have to make that a five. Can I do 13 minus seven? What would that be, Robert? Six. Six and five minus seven would be five. So what's seven times eight? Seven times eight equals um um fifty six. Very good, thank you. Okay, 982 plus 309. Serenay, would you be willing to walk me through this one? Well, add two to nine, which is 11 and you would put the one above the eight and then eight plus zero would be eight and then just add one more which would be nine and then and there's I mean nine plus three is twelve how would you read your answer? 1,291. Well done, Serene. Thank you for explaining your thinking. All right, Cooper, 832 plus 578. Walk me through it. So you put a zero under the, yeah, there. And then four plus seven is 11. So then eight plus six is 14, I think. Would you read your answer? 1,410. Excellent. And I love that you didn't say and. All right, now we're switching to subtraction. Max Deesberg, are you comfortable doing subtraction? Yeah. Thank you. Let's try this one together. 620 minus 146. Since you can't subtract zero from six, you have zero, okay. You cross out the two, make it a one, and then you put the 10 by the one, and that zero becomes a 10. 10 minus six is four, and you can't do one minus six. So you cross out the six, make it a five, Put the one with the other one, then 11 minus 4 is 7, so you put a 7, and then 5 minus 1 is 4. Excellent, thank you. Max, 
Good job. All right, I'm gonna walk you through this last one and remind you of the box trick. So if I can't do zero minus seven and I can't borrow from a zero, I would look at the 70. If I take one away from 70, I have 69 and I can put that one with my zero in the ones place. Now I have 10 ones. 10 minus seven is three. Nine minus four is five. Six minus six is zero. I've seen a lot of you write the zero. I don't want you to do that. Let's just write 53 because when I write the number 53, I don't put a zero in front of it as my answer. Okay, so we haven't done one of those in a while. I thought we should because it has been so long. Okay, moving right along. But to review for our time quiz today, I have a smart board lesson for us. And we're just gonna walk through these. They're very similar to what you'll see on your quiz on Think Central today. And the first one, first one is a clock. And let's move this clock down. I just want you to tell me what time is it first? Digitally, can you tell me what time does the clock show? Astria, what time is it? Mommy, I say it to Mrs. Harrison. 9.20. Excellent. Nine, and then 20. she's, and then she How said, did you know, Astria? Is because I saw that the nine, I saw that the hour hand was, um, uh, yeah, I did. A more at uh, okay. the nine, and then, um, uh, and then I counted by fives till I got to twenty. Uh, board and, and uh, 10, 15, 20, like that. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, yeah, that's how I got my answer. Okay, excellent. Bird. If it's 9.20 and I'm just finishing up my crew with my class in the morning, is that a.m. or p.m.? A.m.? Very good. How did you know? Because it's morning time and um, you usually do crew at that time unless you're a little late. Yeah, if, it, if I were sleeping or reading in bed, then it would be p.m., right? The other 920. Yeah. Excellent. Who can read this as minutes after the hour for me? How many minutes after the hour? How about Josh Carter? It is 20 minutes after... Um, uh, nine. Okay, Josh, how many minutes before the hour is it? Um, 40 minutes. Let's count. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. 40 minutes before, what's your next hour going to be? 10. 10. Very good. All right. So you should be writing these in your math spiral. Moving right along. All right. So we just did that one. Write the time as minutes after an hour. You don't need to do that one. So let's move to this one. First of all, you got to figure out what time it is, and then it's asking for what, write the time as minutes before an hour. Go ahead and do that, and then we'll share our thinking. Write the time as minutes before an hour. 9.20. We already did the 9.20. You don't need to do this one. Don't worry about that one. We're doing this one. But I wanted you to write the time as minutes before an hour. But to figure that out, you'll probably have to figure out what time it is. And you might have to figure out how many minutes after the hour it is. That's up to you.
All right, Sunny Poe, do you want to share your thinking? I think it's 45 minutes before, before nine. Okay, you've got part of it right. I would give you- Five it. minutes before seven? Let's look at what time it is Eight. right now. What time is it right now, Sunny? 8.15. Oh, no. that's, that's where you're getting confused. So whenever that hour hand is between two numbers, see how it's pointing just a little bit after the seven. It always goes to the number before, the lower number, because it's not at, in the eight o'clock hour yet. All of this section is going to be the seven o'clock hour, okay? So if it's 7.15 or 15 minutes after seven, you were right, 45 minutes before, but what comes after seven? Eight. The, eight, very good. And let's just show how we could count those minutes. You would start here and you wanna get all the way till the 12, cause that's when it will change to o'clock. Count with me, five, Nine, 10, 10, 15, 20, 20 25, 30, 30, 35, 30, 40, 45. Good. Nicely done. Good job. I hope you agreed with Sunny. Her thinking was right on there. All right, now let's see. We will also see problems like this. If Kyler leaves his house at 5.30 p.m. and he drives for one hour to the store, then he shops for 15 minutes and then drives for one hour to get home. At what time does he get home? So I'm gonna jump on the number line for you and I'm gonna see if you guys can tell me what time he gets home. I know I have the starting time at 5.30. There's my starting time. If you could mute, some of you are unmuted and it's hard to hear. So check and make sure you're muted. This is when Kyler leaves his house. It says he drives for one hour. So I'm gonna go from 5.30 to where, Henry? 5.30 to where? What's one hour later than 5.30? Six thirty. Very good. So I'm going to jump to six thirty because that's my one hour that he was um, drives to the store. Now he's going to shop for fifteen minutes. So these are in intervals of five because I counted to make sure. So I'm going to count five, ten, fifteen, and I'm going to put a line there because that's when he shopped. This was fifteen minutes. He was shopping here. And then he has to drive for one hour to get home. Well, I might want to just see what time is it? And I could add an hour. If it's 6.30 here, 6.35, 6.40, this would be 6.45. What's one hour later than 6.45? Lucas Stewart, one hour later. Um, just add um, one to your hour. 7.30? Well, you don't want to change your minutes. Just your hour. You're right. It's 7, but what, what are the minutes? 45. Yeah, because we're just adding an hour. So that would take us to 7.45. If you weren't sure how to do that, you could count by fives till you got 60 minutes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. And then you could have found out that it was 745. Okay, let's try another one. And that would still be PM because it's in the evening. Leela leaves the house at 1 o'clock p.m. to walk her dog to the park. She walks for an hour. She lets the dog run around the park 
for 45 minutes and then walks the dog home. She arrives home at 3.30. How long did it take Leela to walk home? Okay, let's see. Madison, if she leaves the house at one o'clock, that's her starting time to leave. What's an hour later? She walks for an hour. What's an hour after one o'clock? Two o'clock. One plus one, Madison. Two. Thank you. One hour later from one o'clock would be two o'clock. It's you're only adding on one to one. Now she's gonna let the dog run for 45 minutes. I have to count by fives. Let's do it. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So now she's at 245. I know that because this is 230, 235, 240, 245. And then she, the, she walks the dog home. She gets home here at 330. This is when she gets home. I need to know how much time is in between here. Haley calendar. How could I figure that out? If I want to know how many minutes are between 245 and 330, how can I figure that out? Haley calendar. All right. I'm not sure her uh, her camera's off, so I'm not sure. Okay, Robert Westwood. What can I do to figure that out? Robert, do you want to share your thinking? I saw your hand was raised. Um, I didn't raise my hand, and I am trying to um, see back where you are, where I am. We're trying to figure out how many minutes are between 2.45 and 3.30, and we're using this number line. What, do, what can I do to count all these minutes in here? What do we know about the number line that might help us? 45 minutes, um, 245 to 3.30. So you got 45 minutes. How did you get that? Because 15 plus, I mean 15 minutes plus 15 plus 30, equals 45 and 15 minutes plus two to 45 equals three o'clock. So you were going from 245 to three o'clock and you knew that was 15 minutes and three o'clock to 330 is 30 minutes and that's how you got it. That's great. I love that thinking. You could also have counted by fives on the number line. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and double checked your work. And you would have gotten the same answer. Really good thinking, Robert. All right, now, because when you take your quiz, you will see number lines like these. Make sure you check the number line. Make sure it's intervals of fives if, and not tens before you start doing your work. You might have intervals of 10. Okay, choir practice starts at 4.15 and ends at 5.05. .05. How long does practice last? If it starts at 4.15 and ends at 5.05 .05 p.m., how long does practice last? Now, I wanna make sure I put the interactive clock up for you guys. I meant to, but sometimes it doesn't always happen. So if it's not up here, it will be. I put a note to do it. I don't see it. Hmm. I wonder what I put it on instead. Okay, so I'm gonna have to add it. it the nice thing is, guys, it, it's on the lesson from um, last week. So you could always just go to Thursdays and it's right there. But I'll add it. So here's what might be helpful when you are taking your test today. 
click on this and have it open while you are doing it. I want to go back and see. I think we said it was 4.15 to 5.05 is we're trying to find out how long. Let's go back and look again to make sure. The question was, oops, wrong one. If choir practice starts at 4.15 and ends at 5.05, we want to know how long that practice lasted. Those are, it's a weird ending time, but we're going to go back to the clock. I'll put it up and you guys will be able to do this when you take your quiz. I'm going to put 4.15 on the clock. Okay, so that's what 4.15 would look like, right? I have to go to 5.05. So I'm going to count by fives till I get there. You might have another strategy like, um, whoopsie. You might have another strategy like Robert. Maybe you can see on the clock that that's 45 minutes until the next hour. And then you're going to add the other five. That's up to you. I just want to show you how you could do this. Let's count. Five, 10, we're gonna go all the way to 505. 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 minutes till five o'clock, but practice, choir practice ends at 505. 50. So how long did choir practice last, Max Fox? We went from 415 to 505. Um, take it, um, practice lasts, um, 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Excellent. So we would say practice lasted for 50 minutes. I hope that's what you got too. I just wanted to remind you how to use that clock because you can use that today and I'll put that on your assignment. All right, I think we are done. Yes, okay, so I'm going to X out of this. Go back to our lesson. <clears throat> so you guys, I know, wanted to play gym kit, gym kit. I forget how they say it. So I made one for the time lesson, and it's all review of what we've been learning for telling time, so I think you'll enjoy it. I will start it and give you a code, but you will have to go to gimkit.com slash play. That is how you will get to it, and I can put that in chat, I believe, or Mrs. Harrison can. I think I can as soon as I stop sharing. Let's see if I can. I'm gonna put it in. Where are you gonna be doing time? All right, I'll put it in my chat. Hold on just a second. Guys, if I join. all right, let's see if that works. Okay, so there's a live link in chat that you can click on, and that will take you to your gim kit, and then I will get you a code. All right, so let me go back. And I will start it while you guys get on.
What's the class code? It's not there yet. I'm just starting. Okay. Patience, my friends. Patience. I was just seeing it's, what I missed. You didn't. You're good. It's 19200. Once you get on, you're going to type in the code 19200. You might need that interactive clock up. So I'm going to put that on there. Make sure you have that because these problems aren't simple. It, sa it says for me the game is full. Yes. Me too. Me too. Really? Me too. Me too. Thank you. Person hosting this game on GimKit Basic, which only allows up to five people to join up live games. Oh boy. Well, that's not good. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, but it says the host is. So I think you have to go to like settings or something because it says the host is doing it. Okay, thank you. Let me investigate. Okay. Thank you guys for being patient. What's the code? Yeah. Name? It's in the chat. 19200. 19200. But I might have to change if. If, yeah. Huh. This is weird. That's never happened to me before. Hmm. <laughs> Edit. Yeah, it's saying it's full for Mr. Josh here. I know you can't join. <gasps> yeah, I'm working on it. I'm sorry. No, no worries. Just it's happening to everyone. Yes, oh, you guys again. don't have to tell me anymore. I got it, okay, guys? I got to figure it out. For some reason, it did that. It probably wants me to upgrade. Oh, yes. Oh, it says I have to upgrade. <laughs> Four dollars oh, 99 cents. So you can keep exploring. However, no more than five people will be able to join live. All right, guess what? I'm going to upgrade. Okay. I think I'll just, should I do monthly or I'll just pay? If you have to put in some actual information, you might want to stop sharing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Bye, guys. Just don't want you sharing your credit card yeah. number on live. <laughs> oh, goodness. Never trust me with the credit card. Good no. Just never give me your card because I will go wild with it. Thank you for being so patient. Look at all my favorite uh, favorite third graders being patient. Thank you. Boy, they know how to get you, don't they? Get you hooked. Yeah. Oh, look at all my patient. Third grade math students. Awesome job, my friends. Thank you for being patient. Can my sister join? Keep your fingers crossed. It's processing. <gasps> Yay! I'm not sure if I should be worried about how quickly you got that information in there or not. <laughs> it's because I've been spending a lot of money lately for the holidays. All right, let's try again. It might give us a new code, kiddos. Let's see. Is the code still 19? Yep, we're going to have a new code, okay? Sorry about that, but hey, it should work, right? What is it? I'm so gonna give it to you. Give me one sec. I'm gonna share Mrs. my. Mrs. Robin, you have some friends who have siblings who would like to join. How do you feel about that? Well, here I hope it lets you. I'm thinking that's fine with me as long as it's not too full. <laughs> okay. I don't know how many people I just bought for to play, but yeah, give it a whirl. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Seven nine eight five one.
if everybody gives me a dollar, that'll pay for the <laughs> subscription. <laughs> I'm just teasing. I'll go have these with you. Okay. <laughs> it's worth it. I love Gim Kit. I already owe, owe you some money anyway. Like Thank you for putting your names, my friends. Um, I don't know who Bloopy is, but guys, we want your real names inside there, please. Not, not any other names. Please put in your own name. I just put Max Fox. That's perfect, Max. That's awesome. Yeah, those of you who, just, who are putting in other names, that's not really cool. Because I'm still taking, I'm still taking uh, attendance. So, you need your real names. And guys, if you want to get that interactive clock up, you can. You'll need your math spiral, possibly, so you can figure out the questions. I see 22. We should have more than 22. We should have three more people still getting in. Can you please boot me out? I'm Bloopy. What do you want me to do? You want boot me to Bloopy out. Remove you? And then they're going to come back as the yeah. real okay. self. Thank you. Appreciate that. I'm not sure who crazy. What? Okay. New power up, jingle bells. All right, I still have 22 and we have more in Zoom than that. So should I wait a little bit maybe? We have about two more people unless there's siblings playing. Right. I think more. Can you please? All right. I think I'm going to start, guys, because of time. And if um, you're not quite in, you'll still get to play. Don't worry. I can't get in. Who's that? Charlie. Charlie Carr? Yeah. Okay. Did you go on the link in chat? And then did you do the right code? Because you put in the new, the I, new one. I'm trying to do the code, but it keep but the code keeps going away every time I try clicking in it. Type it. It's seven nine eight five one. Do you want to share your screen with me, Charlie? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing and then I'm going to let you share. Go ahead, Charlie, and I'll see if I can help you. Do you have the code near you, Mrs. Harris? Mrs. Harris? I do. Okay. I'm still drawing for some reason. That's because you're being patient. Okay, so it looks like you're on, Charlie. Oh, this must have been an old one. It says the game host left, because that's the old one. Hit join new game, okay, Charlie? Okay, click on game code. Mrs. Harrison will read it to you. All right, seven. Nine. Eight. Five one. There you go. Now click join. You should be good to go. And you can stop sharing so I can get back on and start. Thank you. All right. I'm going to start the game. Here we go.
one. Is somebody Sob been? Sobbin. Yes. Um, can you play Gim Kit when you are on like the Zoom or anything? You have to have a teacher set it up. Okay, thanks. Bye. Mrs. Aubin. Yes. So, um, my thing is to zoomed in, and I don't know how to zoom back out. If you go up to the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, you should see something that says like percentages, like 100%, 80%. See how it'll say Zoom? When you click on the three dots in the upper right-hand corner of your screen, and you want it at 100%, so maybe it got clicked to higher. Or you can go lower than 100 if it's not feeling good. Did that help? Max, do you have a question? Max Fox? Um, apparently, I'm like, the shop and now I can't get out of the shop. Like, I don't know how to get out of the shop. It's still in the shop, but in Okay. Yeah, I. So you don't want to shop anymore. There's the three lines in the top left hand corner. Click on those and then it'll say go back to questions. Did you figure it out or I can have you share your screen with me? He's got a thumbs up. You're good. Okay. Because it kids you can't really because they because they can't hear you. Oh. I keep getting kicked out of the game kit, and whenever I get wrong problems, it gives me more money. And whenever I get them right, it gives me less money. It's because you're in the negative, August. It's not more money. You're in negative. That's why it appears to be, but you'll see a negative uh, minus sign. Sorry about that. Yeah. My internet keep kicking me out of the Zoom, and I can't I get past $26. Okay, keep trying. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Do your, your best, back. buddy.
Miss Aubin? Yes. So, um, can I click on Zoom Out? Um, it goes further out, but then I can't really see the questions. But when I zoom in, um, um, like, I can't see the, well, I just can't get out of here. Okay, why don't you share your screen? Let me see if I can help. Hmm. Okay, can you click on, yeah, don't click on that anymore. Now go to the arrow key in the upper left hand corner. Click on the left, that, yeah. Go ahead and hit leave. Click leave the blue button to the right. Did. Okay. All right. Let's see. Did you ever get into the game? I did. Okay. I don't know what that screen was. I would start over, obviously. So I don't. Did you use the link that we provided? Yeah, well, you're gonna be fine. Let's try again and see what happens. Do you remember the code? Yay. Yeah, okay. yeah 79851. Look at you. <laughs> okay, so here you are at the questions. You should be good to go now. There you go. You can stop sharing. numbers on the clock. Gabe, I want your thinking, not your brother's. 
Gabe, make sure this is your thinking, not Ben's. Thank you. Okay. Hi there. Less, less than one minute left. Nice to see you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Wow, congratulations, everyone. You made a lot of money. Look at that. Took a little longer with the telling time than our multiplication division. You guys did a great job. All right, so we are going to now stop the GIM kit. GIM kit. If I can move this, hold on. I, I couldn't, I accidentally exited out of the tab before the GIM kit was over and it oh. made it so that I couldn't play anymore. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll play again, don't worry. If you had trouble okay. with it. We'll, We'll be playing this again. They took a long time to make and I just paid for it. So we'll play again. I have a, um, I have something that I want for Christmas that you guys can all get me. It'd be really easy. So I'm hoping you will spread the joy and do one thing for me. It's what I want for Christmas. It's the only thing I would love if everybody follows these directions so that I don't have to pull a small group and remind you to do this for me. Even though we played a game, we're still, that was all for a review for our most important quiz today. That was really our learning target was to take quiz 3.2. So in your Think Central things to do list, you have an assignment that says quiz 3.2. And that should be the only quiz on there because I already got your other quiz. Um, but if every single person does that for me right now, it's only 314, I'm stopping early. I'm giving you at least 20 minutes before the bell would ring to get this done. It is an expectation, but it'd also be a wonderful gift that if I go into my Think Central and I see that every single person followed directions and took the it's only like five questions. The five question quiz on telling time, I'd be so happy. And the reason I'd be happy is because once you practice like and do that review you just did on GimKit and with me, it is fresh in your brain. The skills we've talked about are fresh and you'll do better than if you put it off and you wait and do it 
when I say, hey, you never did the quiz, you need to stay on with me after crew and do the quiz, it's not as fresh in your mind. And then you'll be like, now what was that again? Time before, minutes after, I don't remember. So I am asking everybody, please follow through with your responsibility today of taking the quiz 3.2. It's under Think Central, under Jeff Co. bookmarks on the upper left-hand corner of your screen. Who would like to share their screen and show that to the class? Who would be willing to do that for us? Astria, I would love that. Would you share your screen? Remind everybody how to get to it. Don't forget to unmute, Miss uh, Astria. Ooh. Okay. Where are the Jeffco Schools bookmarks? Show us that. So you go to Jeffco Schools US bookmarks. Go to Think Central. And then you click things to do. The biggest. Can you click on that and show us where quiz three point two will be? Uh, look at that. Right here. Quiz 3.2. And then you would click on that and take your quiz. Thank you for sharing, Astria. You can stop sharing now. And then I'm going to let you guys get going. You can use your math spiral. You can use that interactive clock. It's on your assignment. And you can have that and toggle between the two tabs. If that helps you, there will be number lines on Think Central on the quiz to help you as well. Any questions? If you have questions, you can stay on. The rest of you, you may go do your quiz. Thank you for the Christmas gift. You're so thoughtful.